First off, give him a round of applause, man. He's going to be hard to beat, isn't he? Jeez. All right. I'm going to get a bit more serious on you, all right? This is about third world countries and what I see, all right? <clears throat> I'm seeing disturbing images concerning third world infants and citizens. People value these stories less than the papers it's printed in. It's the government's administering anti-social terrorism. In these times we're living in, I see minorities giving it. Everyday people trapped by the system because no one is listening. You don't need permission when you're just missioning to get out of that trap with a monkey on your back. I see single mothers addicted to people just giving up and not fighting back. Fathers of children in jail for dealing schmack. It's all back to front. Everybody's on the hunt to be out in the front. But who's leading the way? If that leader up front leads people astray, you need to question yourself. How many people still pray? I do, and so should you. Because I question the way society is living in. The gaps in the media need filling in. Is there forward momentum in this new life we're christening? Now hold up, are you listening? I was born and raised in third world poverty. Yes, in Africa, with first world technology. Now that may sound a, contra a contradiction to confuse you or me. Because we're all equal as people, but we all somehow face or see abuse, whether it's mentally or physically, as deep. I get this chill in me. I was blessed with a moment of pure inspiration. The day I got to meet Nelson Mandela, shook his hand, looked him in the eyes, and no, shh, that hand felt like leather. Now there's a man who straight up fought for what he believed in, so don't let no one stop you from dreaming. I maintain my inspiration, but remember it takes more than one man to save a whole nation. Because there's people still living with bullying, propaganda and brutal interrogation. So with all those minerals, gold, coal, oil, soil and more, how come these people still living poor? I blame the old days, the origin of the poor. Because the rich get rich while the poor stay poor now. Watch how they lure the less fortunate into slavery. We need a new leader, somebody with bravery. I need a cure from this unsavory favour. I've seen a man kill his neighbour. All these youths caught up in antisocial behaviour. I'll tell you why. It's because the elders lost touch, they don't care too much, they're telling their youths, get out of my face! So the kid's in a dark place, on class A's, stone, drunk, mash up, out of his face. He's crying out, please save me, because even an addiction is a form of slavery. One love. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ah, 